connection approach PCH4802 unit 3 today student we are going to discuss one group CC disconnection part 1 for alcohol synthesis welcome students I am Dr. Devang Pandya from Department of Chemistry San Javier's College Autonomous Ahmedabad point to discuss in today's lecture is what is disconnection approach why we need to use retrosynthesis disconnection approach is also known as retrosynthesis then we're going to see how this subject come into action by Robert Robinson's imaginary hydrolysis and then we will shift to our one group CC disconnection part one alcohol synthesis different type of alcohol synthesis we will going to study in this point one 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 two one group CC disconnection in synthesis of alcohol one two and one three one group CC disconnection for carbonyl compound like aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid ester etc reasons for nucleic carbon aldehyde and ketone synthesis from alcohol oxidizing agents for the conversion of alcohol to aldehyde then carboxylic acid synthesis example of synthesis of alcohol and related compounds and carbon carbon disconnections to avoid these are the point that we are going to discuss in today's lecture now what is disconnection approach disconnection approach is about making molecule if we want to synthesize new molecule this is going to be a new approach uh, which gives a different way of synthesizing molecule without wasting time without wasting costly chemicals uh, hazardous chemicals pollutants will going to synthesize compound by a strategic plan and we can synthesize molecule as in a green way and get maximum product and minimum raw material to throw so this connection it is to help you design your own synthesis by logical and sensible thinking this is not a matter of guesswork but requires a way of thinking backwards so from instead of starting from the beginning of the compound and reaching to the end product here we need to start with the end product and disconnecting the end product we need to reach to the starting material so that is why it is said thinking backwards that we call the disconnection approach when you plan the synthesis of a molecule all you know for certain is the structure of a molecule you are trying to make so when you try to design a synthesis you always try to Oh, learn the structure of that particular molecule and you try to make that molecule by getting some information from the molecule itself it is made of atoms but we don't make molecules from atoms we make them from simple and smaller molecules but how to choose which molecules can be used to synthesize our desired product or a target molecule well uh, a researcher can understand that designing organic synthesis you need to start with the starting material and reach to the target molecule 
and there should be so many different hide and seek you need to play with different chemical reaction temperature parameters and all other uh, reacting parameters sometimes it may mislead you towards different way and you cannot come out to get your target molecules so it play with you like hide and seek why retrosynthesis well is there a shorter synthesis path to my target a chemist always try to think in that way and if he is a gujarati chemist always think in this way that is there a shorter synthesis path to my target molecule how can i synthesize this compound it is a very puzzling question to an organic chemist can we increase the yield of this uh, process by choosing another synthesis strategy so that is very important that by which process you try to synthesize your target molecule your desired end product and if you found some simple strategy to make your desired compound it is an additional help and this is the era of technology so can the temp computer do this retrosynthetic analysis for me that means can computer think backward and from target molecule help us to choose the starting material to start the synthesis and reach to the same desired end product so that is our expectation being organic chemist that if any technology is there which can help us to find out a shorter pathway to synthesize our target molecule computer generated retrosynthesis program is available that is known as lasha uh, created by ej kore and based on the non reaction interactive search for the best route to synthesize the desired end product let's begin with who has started this kind of uh, backward reaction to get the target molecule so that is the introduction and starting of the disconnection approach or retrosynthetic analysis first done by robert robinson's imaginary hydrolysis the disconnection approach to the design of synthesis is essentially the same we explored the molecule into smaller starting material on paper and then combine this by chemical reactions it isn't an easy because we have to use some logic some basic information regarding the reactions on our chemical knowledge to choose this starting materials the first chemist to suggest the idea was robert robinson who published his famous tropinone synthesis in 1917 he didn't know that he is doing or he is opening a new branch of chemistry known as retrosynthesis or disconnection approach so he has given a term to his work as imaginary hydrolysis and he put dashed line across tropinone structure to get the starting product so this is backward thinking he robert robinson want to synthesize this molecule so he put this dashed line and break the molecule so that uh, he got the hydrolysis in the backward process and get the target molecule but when he put this dashed line he got three different fragments this is dialdehyde methylamine aminomethane or acetone so this three fragment he has obtained by disconnecting the target molecule this gives him idea that 
if we will take this three starting material which is commercially available easily available and on doing the hydrolysis he can get his target molecule he used symmetry for that now this was a famous synthesis because it is so short and very simple and also because it makes a natural product in a way that imitate nature and when it imitate nature it is a best green processor this reaction is carried out at pH 7 in water neutral pH in fact Robinson did not use acetone as he found in the backward process of the disconnection of tropinone but uh, for his imaginary hydrolysis he used dicarboxylic uh, acetone dicarboxylic acid this compound instead of simple acetone he has taken this dihaldehyde uh, amino methane and this dicarboxylic ketone with ph7 when he performed this hydrolysis uh, imitating the natural process he got this target molecule and look at the yield 92.5 so very green process to prepare this target molecule this procedure is an improved one invented by scoff in 1935 amazingly nobody picked up this idea until 1960s you can see 1935 1935 scope has invented this procedure of synthesis and until 1960 almost 30 years later when ej corey at harvard was considering how to write a computer program to plan organic synthesis how much advanced this fellow is 1960 ej corey taught to prepare a computer programming to plan organic synthesis he needed a systematic logic and he chose the disconnection approach also called retro synthetic analysis all that is in this book which we have used to explain this disconnection approach that is disconnection approach given by Stuart Warren owes its origin to his own work uh, of uh, Stuart Warren he has used this retrosynthetic analysis for many series of molecule the computer program which EJ Corey used is called Lasha and the logic survives as a way of planning synthesis used by almost all organic chemists those days it is more useful to humans than to machine uh, this is very old computer program Lasha but you might aware with Schrodinger software to design molecule or some software based on bioinformatics Bagirath and all so those all computer software gives this kind of information especially Lhasa is meant for retrosynthetic analysis by E.J. Corey now we need to discuss one group CC disconnection part one for the synthesis of alcohol we now leave discussion of disconnections of bonds between carbon and other atoms that you may learn in unit 1 and unit 2 CX disconnection where carbon and X is for any hetero atom like oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, halogen, phosphorus or any metal element even so CX that means carbon and non-carbon elements disconnection and it would be little bit easy to explain CS disconnection because uh, carbon has a different electronegativity than 
अदर देन कार्बन एटम लाइक ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रोजन सल्फर फॉस्फरस हेलोजन दे हैव आइदर हायर और लोअर इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी कंपेयर टू कार्बन बट when we discuss cc disconnection it is going to be more challenging disconnection so the question raised why cc disconnection is more challenging cc disconnection is more challenging because organic compounds contain many carbon carbon bonds which have equal electronegativity where both the carbon atoms which having equal electronegative it is not clear that at first which one should be disconnected of where we can put either that dashed line or a wiggly line to show the disconnection now uh, two type of uh, disconnection for one group cc disconnection to synthesize alcohol we'll going to study that is 1 1 and 1 to 1 group cc disconnection this is some very good news that the synthons synthons that is after the disconnection of the target molecule when we get the charged species that charged species or group of atoms charged group of atoms are known as synthons for two group cx disconnection are the one we shall use for one group cc disconnection so if you want to explain one group cc disconnection you need to take the example of two group cx disconnection that means with carbon two different hetero atoms may be attached and in respect of one hetero atom the other hetero atom is disconnected and that is called two group cx disconnection and we need to compare with uh, this two group cx disconnection to get the information for our one group cc disconnection you can see in the example below we start with an introduction to the three main types 1 1 1 2 1 three in each case we shall replace one of the hetero atom by a carbon unit that is denoted as r alkyl group for compound with two hetero atoms joined to the same carbon we use a 1 1 di x disconnection one removing one hetero atom to reveal a carbonyl compound here we will going to get an aldehyde and a hetero atom nucleophile that is denoted as number 2 replacing the hetero atom by r2 group we disconnect in the same way to reveal the same aldehyde and some nucleophilic carbon reagent that is denoted as four number probably r2 li that is alkyl lithium or grignard reagent r mgbr that you can see in this reaction c di x that is two hetero atom and one one that means one carbon to one hetero atom will going to put this wiggly line this is known as wiggly line and that wiggly line we use to show the site where we are going to disconnect the molecule so in this alcoholic compound the hydroxyl group attached with the carbon and with that carbon another hetero atom that is phosphorus is attached and we need to put a wiggly line over here to disconnect carbon phosphorus cx so it is 1 1 cx di x disconnection so 1 1 di x that is cx carbon and hetero that is phosphorus so when we are, we are going to disconnect it from here we are going to get one charge on this carbon so to satisfy the charge of the carbon hydrogen depart uh, by putting the electron charge on oxygen 
which satisfy the charge on carbon because carbon have low electronegativity compared to phosphorus so phosphorus withdraw the electron and partial positive charge generate on this carbon which is satisfied by this oxygen when the proton depart the excess extra electron pair will satisfy this and will going to get this aldehyde group and this phosphorus charged phosphorus so this is called one one di x disconnection now we compare uh, cc disconnection with this that means we have one heteroatom hydroxyl group so the hydroxyl group attached with the carbon with the same carbon we have two alkyl group two carbon so any one carbon we can put a wiggly line here we have put wiggly line over here to depart r2 group much in the same way as we put wiggly line to disconnect cp carbon phosphorus bond here carbon carbon bond so we have compared cc disconnection to this one one di x disconnection so it is known as corresponding cc disconnection so we put a wiggly line over here to this molecule 3 cc disconnection and to show disconnection not only wiggly line is used incline arrow is used this arrow double line and arrow is incline arrow so whenever you want to show the backward synthesis that is retro synthesis that is disconnection approach you need to put a wiggly line that is must and you need to use this incline arrow that is must and between which two element we have disconnected that you can put either below or above the incline arrow so here we get aldehyde group with r1 and nucleophilic because this carbon has negative charge so nucleophilic reagent so this charge species after the disconnection which we have obtained is known as synthon and from this synthon carbonyl group we have got this synthetic equivalent that is rcho so the charge species when converted into a complete molecule instead of a charge species then it is called synthetic equivalent here for the synthetic equivalent of this r2 we can use either alkyl lithium as shown here or we can convert that nucleophilic carbon into Grignard reagent. So here you can see that nucleophilic carbon that is synthon, but its synthetic equivalent would be alkyl lithium or either a Grignard reagent. Now for compound with a 1-2 relationship, next this is 1-1 relationship. Now we are going to discuss 1-2 relationship we use an epoxide that is structure 6 at the alcohol oxidation level in the combination with a heteroatom nucleophile. So disconnecting the corresponding CC bond will get a structure 7. We use the same epoxide and a carbon nucleophile such as alkyl lithium or a Grignard reagent in 1-2 cc1 group disconnection as well so this is one two di x disconnection here hydroxyl group attached with carbon that is termed as number one carbon this is one number one carbon and after one we have put wiggly line so it is known as one one but here after one and two so after two we will put a wiggly line so it is known as 1 2 di x disconnection and that 1 2 di x disconnection is put on incline arrow so that gives because the hetero element have high electronegativity compared to this number 2 carbon it contain negative charge and this will going to give a cyclic structure that is epoxide structure 6 epoxide the corresponding one to disconnection that means we need to compare this kind of alcoholic group with this carbon uh, hetero element arrangement so hydroxyl group attached with carbon that is number one number two carbon and after number two carbon we put wiggly line 
to disconnect this carbon. So this is CC disconnection, but after one and two carbon, so it is known as one two one group CC disconnection. So after putting this wiggly line, one two CC disconnection, CC disconnection on incline arrow, we'll get a nucleophilic carbon and epoxide. Epoxide is synthetic equivalent, and this is synthon. Now its synthetic equivalent is either alkyl lithium or Grignard reagent. So this nucleophilic carbon, you can convert it into either alkyl lithium or Grignard reagent. And when you treat Grignard reagent with epoxide or alkyl lithium with epoxide, you will get this target molecule. You can synthesize this alcohol. Similarly, if you take alkyl lithium or Grignard reagent and treat it with aldehyde, you will get this kind of secondary alcohol. This is primary alcohol. So for secondary alcohol, one, one, one group CC disconnection is used and for a primary alcohol synthesis, one to one group CC disconnection is used. Now another example for one to one group CC disconnection that is for carbonyl compound. The same one to disconnection relationship at the carbonyl level was disconnected uh, denoted by example 8 to give carbon electrophile that is structure 9 probably an alpha bromoketone and a heteroatom nucleophile is obtained. Now we can come to some more good news that we generally prefer nucleophilic heteroatom but we can use nucleophilic or electrophilic carbon atom whichever is better for this synthesis. Here we should much rather use the nucleophilic carbon synthon 11 that we see in the uh, next slide in the reaction as it is an enolate. Here it is carbonyl uh, carbon that is numbered 1 and second carbon that is number two and after number two we have put wiggly line with this heteroatom so it is one two di x on incline arrow and heteroatom has more electronegativity so it is minus charge and this carbon number two get positive charge these are known as synthons the charged species after disconnection obtained charge species are known as synthons now uh, with this we compare this structure tense disconnection so first number carbon that is a carbon where double bonded oxygen carbonyl carbon is number one next is number two and after number two we put wiggly line to disconnect this number two and r1 group that is one group cc disconnection so cc disconnection put on incline arrow we are going to get R minus, R minus that is nucleophilic carbon and that converted into synthetic equivalent as bromoalkyl group and this one is getting negative charge because when you compare this here you get positive carbon, here you are getting negative carbon because this is oxygen more electro withdrawing group so here uh, just opposite to this we can observe over here and we are going to get different kind of uh, synthon or synthetic equivalent. So this is synthon, carbon synthon 11 which converted into epoxide. Now 131 group CC disconnection for carbonyl compound. 13 disconnection relationship 12 was quickly recognized as conjugate addition to the enone that is structure 13 the corresponding cc disconnection 14 uses the same enone that is structure 13 but the nucleophilic carbon species should be a copper derivative either you can take mono or cu that is monovalent copper or culi that is alkyl lithium cuprate or Grignard reagent or cuprous bromide. 
So this one is number one carbon where the carbonyl group is there. This is number two and this is number three. And after number three, we put wiggly line. So it is similar to one three dix. So your carbon and heteroatom is disconnected. We're going to get negatively charged heteroatom and here enolate that reagent 13 enone. Now the same comparison with this CC disconnection. Carbonyl carbon is number one. This is number two, number three. And after number three, we put a wiggly line to disconnect this CC one group disconnection. So either above or below, you can write CC one group disconnection. It will going to give you nucleophile. That is R minus and your reagent that is enone. So enone and the nucleophile carbon can be converted into either alkyl cuprate, uh, lithium alkyl cuprate or Grignard reagent or cuprous bromide. So that will convert this synthon to this synthetic equivalent. So when the synthetic equivalent either alkyl cuprate or lithium alkyl cuprate or Grignard reagent when treated with enone will going to get this 14 compound the target molecule so this is called a reverse uh, approach retrosynthetic approach which gives us starting material and when they react we're going to get our target molecule without wasting time precious chemical and in easy way natural imitating process with high yield we can get our target molecule. So new way of synthesis is disconnection approach. Now reagent for nucleophilic carbon. The simple unfunctionalized carbon nucleophile that is 15 and 17 molecule are made from alkyl halide with various metals such as lithium in a zero oxidation state or magnesium in a zero oxidation state. This will going to give you alkyl lithium. This will going to give you Grignard reagent by exchange with available organometallic reagent such as butyl lithium in anhydrous condition uh, coordinating solvents like ether or tetrahydrofuran etc. So this is alkyl halide when treated with lithium in presence of either dry ether or tetrahydrofuran like this compound. It will convert it into alkyl lithium or if we have alkyl halide it is treated with butyl lithium in presence of tetrahydrofuran we will going to get our synthetic equivalent for nucleophilic carbon that is alkyl lithium. Similarly, if we have alkyl halide treated with magnesium of zero oxidation state with dry ether, it's going to form our RMGX that is Grignard reagent. So that way we can convert the nucleophilic carbon into the synthetic equivalent to do either 1-1, 1-2, or one three disconnection to synthesize either alcohol or carbonyl compounds. Now one one CC disconnection for the synthesis of alcoholic compound. Disconnection of this three shows that any alcohol may be disconnected at a bond next to the hydroxyl group, which we have found in the flux. 1-1 uh, CC disconnection or DIX. Isomeric alcohol that is 18 structure and 20 can both be made from acetone using either a Grignard reagent or butyl lithium in second process. So here we have tertiary hydroxyl group. The hydroxyl group attached with the carbon that carbon is number one carbon and after carbon number one we put this wiggly line to show the disconnection so it is one 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 group cc disconnection so that we can put on incline arrow we're going to get alkyl uh, nucleophilic carbon that is r minus minus charge would be over here 
and it can be converted into synthetic equivalent that is Grignard reagent that is 19 plus acetone. If we have this kind of bigger chain and hydroxyl group attached with the carbon that is carbon number one and after carbon one we put this wiggly line for this connection so it is also known as one group one one cc disconnection and that going to gives us acetone and butyl lithium so this butyl group attached with lithium because this is nucleophilic carbon and we can convert that nucleophilic carbon into synthetic equivalent butyl lithium and acetone is going to be obtained so when you treat with uh, uh, acetone with Grignard reagent you will get structure 18 and when you treat acetone with butyl lithium you will going to get structure 20 so that way the synthesis of alcohol can be designed using disconnection approach the synthons of 18 exemplifies the Grignard method the reagent is made from the alkyl halide with magnesium metal in zero oxidation state in dry ether and combined without isolation with the electrophile all step being carried out under strictly anhydrous condition so that the oxidation state of magnesium can retain. So we have alkyl halide that is 21 treated with magnesium in zero oxidation state with dry ether so it will going to gives us our structure 19 which you found in this slide this is 19 after the disconnection one group one one disconnection you will get this synthetic equivalent so that synthetic equivalent can be synthesized forward way in this way you need to take alkyl halide treat with magnesium in zero oxidation state in presence of uh, dry ether you are going to get your Grignard reagent that you need to treat with this acetone, dimethyl acetone and you will going to get your target molecule. So there is little change instead of simple acetone we will take dimethyl acetone to get our target molecule. This is forward synthesis and this one is backward retroanalysis or disconnection approach and that gives a forward synthesis like this it may be necessary to disconnect structure x c x bond that is carbon and hetero element bond before doing the c c disconnection as with the amino ester wanted for uh, evolution as an analgesic disconnecting the ester reveals the tertiary alcohol that is structure 23 and removal of the phenyl group shows a hidden 1,3 dix relationship between ketone and amino groups of 24 structure this synthesis is a straightforward with available uh, phenyl lithium being used instead of Grignard reagent. The uh, acylation of the tertiary benzylic alcohol 23 needs mild condition to avoid dehydration. You can see this structure. Carbonyl group is there. So on treating with dimethyl amino group in dry ether we are going to get structure 24 which treat with phenyl uh, lithium gives this end product that is 60 percent yield is going to be obtained and that is treated with pyridine to get our end product ester this way the general there is a choice of which cc bond should be disconnected and available starting material may give a clue we do not wish to disconnect the aromatic ring of the heterocyclic alcohol 28 
so we can choose between bonds a and b so here there is a target molecule that is 20a there is two possible way hydroxyl group attached with this carbon that is carbon number one so either you can disconnect from side a or you may disconnect it from side b if you disconnect from a on this inclined arrow you can see you will get a synthon 26 and this 27 structure okay and on b side if you are going to put wiggly line to disconnect from this side we will going to get structure 29 and synth synthon 30 so these two either the probability or these two either the probability we need to find out which root is best to disconnect this molecule to get the starting material either these two or these two on availability commercial availability or easy way of synthesis we can think on these two paths and decide either path a is better or path b is better to synthesize that target molecule it turns out that both the aldehyde 29 and the easily made bromoacetyl that is 32 are commercially available what is 29 and 32 29 this and bromoacetyl 32 the synthetic equivalent of this acetyl group bromoacetyl and this are easily commercially available that means root b is more easier compared to this root a because these two compounds are not commercially available while these two compounds are commercially available bromoacetyl are commercially available and so root b was the chosen path for the disconnection with the protected grignard reagent that is 33 as the carbon nucleophile so here you can see that we have a Crolin that is treated with this dihydroxy group in presence of HBr will going to give us bromoacetyl and that is the synthetic equivalent when we compare this synthesis synthetic equivalent of this 30 synthetic equivalent of that 30 molecule is bromoacetyl and that bromoacetyl treated with magnesium in zero oxidation state with dry ether will gives us Grignard reagent which is treated with 29 that is this molecule 29 treated with 29 will going to gives us our target molecule and you can see yield is 98 percent almost 100 so that way we will get the green reaction now synthesis of aldehyde and ketone the simplest route to aldehyde and ketone using the same strategy is oxidation of alcohol that is very easy information you have studied in your level standard 11 12 that how oxidation of alcohol gives either aldehyde or ketone or even carboxylic acid so the analysis involves fgi functional group interconversion back to the alcohol and then a cc disconnection of the bonds next to the hydroxyl group is carried out let go let you wanted to make a series of ketones 34 with various alkyl groups to demonstrate a new alkyne synthesis disconnection of carbon and alkyl bond of the alcohol 35 molecule meant that they could all be made from aldehyde 36 which can be made by same strategy the oxidation of 35 presents no problems as over oxidation cannot occur but aldehyde 36 could be oxidized to the corresponding carboxylic acid uh, so care was needed for this synthesis uh, in in fact pcc that is pyridinium chlorochromate cro3 and scl dissolve in pyridine that is known as pcc 
could be used for this two reaction. Here we have ketone target molecule will going to perform FGI. That means carbonyl group is converted into hydroxyl group. One functional group, ketonic carbonyl group, converted into hydroxyl group. So that is called functional group interchange, FGI. Carbonyl to hydroxyl, that is FGI. And whatever you are doing, that you need to put on this incline arrow. It is must. That is necessary to show this disconnection approach that you have converted carbonyl group to this hydroxyl group. You have changed one functional group to another functional group. That's why it is known as functional group interchange or interconversion. So FGI convert carbonyl group to hydroxyl group. Now hydroxyl group attached with the carbon that is known as carbon number one. And after carbon number one, you put wiggly line. So it is one, one, one group C, C disconnection that you have put on the uh, uh, incline arrow. It going to give you aldehyde uh, part and your nucleophilic carbon. That nucleophilic carbon you can take uh, as a Grignard reagent. Now this aldehyde functional group is even converted into hydroxyl functional group and the hydroxyl group attached with the carbon. So this aldehyde when you convert into hydroxyl group it is called FGI functional group interconversion aldehyde to alcohol and the hydroxyl group attached with the carbon that is carbon number one and after carbon number one you put this wiggly line means it is one group one one CC disconnection. So on incline arrow, you need to write one group one one CC disconnection, and that going to give you synthetic equivalent that is uh, bromocyclohexane. So that is your starting material. You need to start with this direct addition of Grignard reagent or alkyl lithium to a star does not give ketone, but addition to nitriles will going to do the work for you like this one oxidizing agents for the conversion of alcohol to aldehyde the difficulty is over oxidation one simple solution is to oxidize all the way to the carboxylic acid and reduce selectively with uh, dibutyl lithium say for example ibu2 alh dibutyl lithium hydroxide but the reagent in the table give uh, reasonable results and can also be used for the oxidation of secondary alcohol to ketones full descriptions are in uh, FISA or the volume of comprehensive organic synthesis uh, devoted to oxidation so that reference you can use to get this information we have a table for different oxidizing agent and uh, there is no name uh, disodium Na2Cr2O7 sodium dichromate with acid and that distill out the aldehyde as formed otherwise it will convert it into carboxylic group so whatever aldehyde is formed you need to distill out John's reagent that is chromic oxide in presence of H2SO4 and acetone. Here also you need to distill out the aldehyde as formed. Otherwise it is converted into carboxylic group. Collins reagent that is chromic oxide in presence of pyridine. And using uh, CH2Cl2 solution. PCC that is chromic oxide in pyridine with HCl no modification required and it may easily oxidize the compound to aldehyde from alcohol uh, swan uh, pdc that is spreading in presence of acid uh, with dichromate used in ch2cl2 solution to convert alcohol to aldehyde and swan reagent that is cobalt chloride in presence of dms so with triethyl azide a triethyl amine no modification is required and it convert alcohol to aldehyde 
so this different type of reagent for oxidizing uh, as an oxidizing agent to convert alcohol to aldehyde are used now synthesis of carboxylic acid the same disconnection of 41 can be used for carboxylic acid with carbon dioxide as the electrophile for a Grignard reagent that is 40. Dry ice that is solid CO2 is particularly convenient for these reactions. Switching polarity by functional group interconversion to the nitrile 42. The same disconnection now use cyanide ion as the nucleophile but the same alkyl halide that was used to make the Grignard reagent. Mechanistic considerations should be decided between these two alternatives. Here the two alternatives are there. This is your target molecule. You can either for do functional group interconversion to cyanide. Use cyanide ion. So functional group interconversion to cyanide. Then CC disconnection will going to give you alkyl halide and cyanide uh, synthon. Other way is disconnecting this carboxylic acid. CC disconnection will going to give you Grignard reagent and carbon dioxide. So dry carbon dioxide, solid dry carbon dioxide. You can use directly with Grignard reagent and FGI functional group conversion will going to give you alkyl lithium. So alkyl lithium is your starting material that you can convert it into Grignard reagent and then you need to treat the Grignard reagent with carboxylic acid to get this synthetic uh, target molecule carboxylic uh, acid. Similarly, cyanide, uh, any cyanide group, hydrocyanide group or potassium cyanide when treated with uh, alkyl uh, halide, it will going to give you this cyano group that is 42 and on doing the oxidation with PCC or PDC, you will going to get the carboxylic group that is 41, your target molecule. If the carboxylic group is attached to a tertiary or even a secondary carbon atom, the SN2 reaction with cyanide will not be so good and the carboxylation of Grignard reagent is probably better. So comparison with this two path, this path is little difficult this part is little easier to synthesize this carboxylic group. Pivalic acid that is 44 is available but can be made from tertiary butyl chloride with good yield. A detailed procedure for the acid 46 describes how the acid is extracted from the ether with aqueous NOH separated from water by neutralization with SCL and distilled. So here is the 43 that is alkyl halide. Well first we will con to convert into Grignard uh, reagent and then followed with the treatment of dry ice will going to give us carboxylic acid and you can see very fine 70 percent yield is going to be obtained. Another example of alkyl halide converted into Grignard reagent followed by treatment of dry ice will going to give us nearly 80 percent yield of this carboxylic group. If on the other hand the SN2 reaction with cyanide is favored as with allylic or benzylic halide the that method is going to be more better. Hydrolysis of the nitrile gives the acid but treatment with alcohol in acidic solution gives ester directly rather than the carboxylic group. So here is the treatment. Uh, we have alkyl halide treated with uh, cyanide cuprate. It going to give 84% yield of the cyano group and treated with concentrated acid it is converted into carboxylic acid and 82 percent yield is going to be obtained another is phenyl benzylic chloride and benzylic chloride when benzylic halide that is treated with sodium cyanide in presence of ethanol and water it gives 90 percent yield of uh, this benzylic cyano group and treated with ethanol it gives 87 percent yield of ester so instead of carboxylic acid it is converted into ester so this method is not suitable this is fine 
this is converted into carboxylic uh, uh, ester instead of carboxylic acid acid can also be made by the oxidation of alcohols and acid derivatives are available from the acid via the acid chloride since acids can also be reduced to alcohol there is a great deal of uh, interdependence in all <coughs> sorry <coughs> in all these methods the analogy between this type of cc disconnection and 1 2 dx disconnections was explained at the start of this uh, unit with uh, compound 5, 6 and 7. The epoxide route works particularly well if the epoxide is monosubstituted as the reaction with nucleophilic carbon should then be regioselective. Regioselectivity will learn after this uh, point of uh, this unit. Alcohol 53 is used in perfumery and can be disconnected at the next but one bond to the alcohol group with the idea of using the epoxide that is one to uh, disconnection to made uh, from but one in so this is our alcoholic group <coughs> attached with this carbon number one and number two after number two we'll put a wiggly line like this one so it will going to give us one two cc one group disconnection we can put it on incline arrow we're going to get the <coughs> phenoxide phenyl uh, nucleophilic carbon that is converted into greener reagent and epoxide and that further will going to give us but one in as a starting material now one two disconnection the synthesis of alcohol <clears throat> a Grignard or organolithium reagent would attack at the less hindered end of the epoxide and the Grignard root gives the alcohol 53. But one in treated with this uh, group gives epoxide. That epoxide treated with this phenyl organolithium uh, uh, Grignard reagent will going to give us our target molecule. In all these cases, the first step would be FGI, functional group interconversion to the alcohol, and then a CC disconnection uh, could be chosen. Oxidation, aldehyde, ketonic acids for the products is amines or by reductive amination or reductive of amides. Esterification, get esters, then uh, tosylation with treating with the hydrobromic acid or PBR3 or thionyl chloride gives this kind of different products and from this product this further products can be synthesized as well example of synthesis of alcohol and related compounds using 1 1 1 2 1 3 cc one group disconnection the alcohol was needed for the synthesis of bicyclic amine uh, disconnection either side the alcohol gives the aldehyde and the grignard as a starting material but could we not also disconnect the other side as well that we need to think here one one side we have disconnected to get this Grignard reagent and this synthetic equivalent uh, and if we can put other side uh, we get the same kind of thing one 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 group cc disconnection symmetrical alcohol this is known as symmetrical alcohol uh, can in fact be made in one step from the Grignard reagent and ester as the reaction first produced the aldehyde which is more electrophilic than the ester so reacts again and there is a warning that aldehyde cannot be made by acylation of the Grignard reagent with ester but if two reactions are wanted this is going to be a good method to synthesize you can see the example over here we have uh, al ethylene uh, alkene bromide 
treated with Grignard reagent so converted into Grignard reagent and then followed by this ester it going to give us symmetrically alcohol and nearly 90% yield is there. The tertiary chloride was uh, needed for a study of the effect of electron withdrawing group on the SN1 reaction. This is SN1 typological mistake. FGI to the alcohol suggests a CC disconnection to a Grignard reagent and acetone. So here we have another molecule, target molecule, functional group in the conversion converted this chloride, chloride group to hydroxyl group. This is carbon number one and after carbon number one, we put this uh, wiggly line. So it is one group, one, one CC disconnection and that gives us this Grignard reagent and acetone. The nitro group must be introduced at the same stage and the other substituent is always a large and ortho para directing. So it does not seem to matter when as they wanted to make a series of the compound electron withdrawing group on the benzene ring. They choose to make common intermediate and nitrite last. So here benzylic chloride converted into Grignard reagent treated with this dimethyl ketone uh, as, uh, acetone derivative which gives this hydroxyl group target molecule converted uh, treated with thionyl chloride in presence of pyridine so that hydroxyl group converted into chloro group and then it is treated with HNO3 uh, and uh, we are going to get the target molecule other one group CC disconnection there are many other reactions that make CC bond using only one functional group. Among the most important involve alkynes by alkylation, alkenes by Witting reaction and nitro compound by alkylation. Disconnection of alkenes outside the double bond and especially disconnection, disconnection of, of alkynes outside the double bond and especially the disconnection of dynes between the uh, double bonds uh, use palladium chemistry. You can see that there is no functional group so that this different type of disconnection, disconnection in acetylene, alkene group, uh, aliphatic nitro compound we are going to study in our upcoming lectures in detail. All the disconnection uh, we have mentioned use functional group to guide us. Uh, nowhere will you find the disconnection of uh, one alkyl group uh, from another without any functionality. It might seem that the reaction of the Grignard reagent and alkyl halide would make uh, 78 molecules. So it might, uh, but this species will be in equilibrium with 81 and 82. So even if the coupling does work, we would get a mixture of this 78 and both dimers. Uh, it is very much better to let functional group guide your uh, disconnections. You can see there is no functional group over here and when we perform CC disconnection we are going to get 79, 80 molecule that is Grignard reagent and alkyl halide and that remain e uh, in equivalent with uh, 81 alkyl halide and Grignard reagent in different way. So uh, this without functional group uh, disconnection, CC disconnection is to be avoided. Well, I never knew that organic chemistry could be so beautiful and uh, thank you very much for paying attention to this video lecture. Ask, keep asking questions because you know asking questions is a beautiful way to acquire knowledge. I think you are missing your college so I put this uh, photograph so that you can remember it. Thank you very much for paying attention to this video lecture.